And now we invite to this podium, I have the distinguished honor to do so, none other than Coach Agus Chacha Wuta. Wow, thank you so much. Mr. Mayor, Madam Ambassador, I learned in the process of the years of the gift that I received from one that you may not know, but I need to call his name tonight who gave me the opportunity. And his name was John Wessel. Uncle John was the man who saw me working with the youth. And when he got the invitation from Don Basile Machus to bring a youth team to Trinidad and Tobago, in 1963, I was selected because I was in the park every afternoon. Secondly, I had the opportunity to leave my district. And as I said, good things come to those that wait. You're honoring me tonight with my family of the district where I was born called Mungo. <laughs> Ambassador. Ambassador and the guests are from Mungo. I'm from Mungo. And it's an honor for us together, Madam Ambassador, to represent the district of Maruena under the name of Mungo. I'm a Mungonese. But I left the district to go to the city to play. And that gave me the greatest honor of you honoring me tonight by me playing for the Suriname national team during your independence in 1962. In front of the playing right full back. And have my dearest friend that I met in that particular game called Tim Lumpkin. And I want Tim to stand, please. Mr. Tim Lamkin, will you please stand up? If you look at football today, and we saw what happened a couple days ago in Europe, Tim would not have brought me here tonight for you all to honor me if I had hurt him when I played against him. But I did not hurt him. I admired him from the time he take the ball coming towards me. And all I was starting is how to steal the ball away from him. And on many occasions, that wicked light left foot, he got away. And tonight I'm standing here through his guidance to receive this great honor you all given to me. The Lord said good things come to those that wait. I waited. I heard a lot of rumors, Bruna boys, never took it on. I knew that when I met the group, after I brought the youth team here, and Dom offered me to come back and work with these youngsters, when I saw them, all I was seeing in front of me is light. And Dilly? <laughs> I will make one point here for you to understand what these young men have done in Trinidad and Tobago. I recommended to them to bring a Brazilian team here, a team called Paulistas. And that was a big challenge and an open door for Trinidad and Tobago football. We took that challenge against the Brazilian team. We moved from there, from there to Martinique. And that's why I'm so glad tonight, I hope he's still here, to ask him to stand up. Is that B. Wells? <laughs> The reason why I'm calling B's name, we went to Martinique and we played very well. And those people could not believe the football they were seeing. They brought the national team from Martinique against us, playing on a beautiful field beneath a hill. And there was a football brought for us to play. And B said that ball was too soft. 
never forget it up to today. Like 50 years ago, I always remember the ball. You playing away. Whatever they offer you, you play. And B took the ball, it was a free kick. That same softball, and believe it or not, free kick was here, the goal was over there. And B Wells bent the ball and scored that goal. From then on, I kept in mind it's not the ball, it's the way we play. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for the journey that you all have offered me on behalf of St. Benedict. I remember playing St. Mary's in town, and St. Mary's was beating us. Don Basile came to me and said, you don't know nothing about football. All you know is this is this. I said, that, Father, don't worry. But mind you, I couldn't speak English properly then. In other words, all the strategies I couldn't put to the boys. But nevertheless, we had a St. Benedict team. As I told your players this afternoon, Sir Keith and Sir De Leon, you form a family. And St. Benedict's was a family. About three months ago, before I left Washington, D.C., I, on my own road, August Wooder Soccer Program is Unity for Life. And that's the way I left Washington, D.C. This is showing tonight. When I look at Mr. Chandler, the role that Mr. Chandler's family played when we came here with a youth team from Suriname, those boys were housed in different houses. And the family played a very important role for us to get together and perform. And we took that for life. There's a person here, probably, I don't know if he's still here, I want to ask him to stand up, which is John Stedman. No. I'm standing here tonight also on the fact that I am going from where I was staying to the park after I left Grenada, coaching there in Grenada for OAS. And I'm with a ball going to the park, and I heard a name, Mr. Wooder. I keep going, looking, I see nobody. Mr. Wooder, the third time I found out that there was a gentleman through a window waving his hand for me, and John came down. And John said, Mr. Wooder, the United States of America need you. You gotta stay here. What are you doing? I said, I'm on vacation. He said, no, you're not going nowhere. Took me to a game that he was playing, I think, between he and Archie was playing for the same team at the German American League in Union, New Jersey. There I went to see the game. And I could tell you it's 40 years ago. After that, I left Washington to come here talking to you now. I owe that thank you to Jan Sedman. I took the opportunity, John, and developed football in the United States of America. It is recorded that St. Benedict's players that went to the United States of America are responsible, are responsible, are responsible for professional football in the United States of America. I say this because it's recorded. Their names were mentioned, and the way they played. Steve David, Sir De Leon, Archibald. The way they played and inspired others to play the game on the right way. Today is no longer that way. Right, so therefore I owe Trinidad and Tobago as a whole a great thank you. <laughs>